Hello, crime fighters. I'm Ray the DA, and this is Straight Talk. Well, we knew it was coming. A supersized, we told you so, moment from prosecutors. Why? The legislature's catch and release soft on crime experiment with the safety and security of our citizens, which among other things, releases prison inmates early as well as discourages judges from sending criminals to prison at all, is a huge flop. Even the cheerleaders at the Lexington Herald Leader have had to reluctantly admit that in an article by John Cheeves. <clears throat> so, as expected, now the blame game begins. First, from the main author of this disaster, Representative John Tilley from Hopkinsville, he blames the judges and the prosecutors. He says that in some parts of the state, some judges and prosecutors just aren't following parts of the law. Hey John, the public is very, very concerned about their own safety and their own security. Judges and prosecutors are right there on the front lines. They deal with the public every day and they know what the public wants. As a result, they send those hoodlums to prison or jail. Why? Because the public wants lawbreakers punished. Then, of course, Tilly says, you know, we really need to release even more prison inmates or refuse to send more convicted criminals to jail or prison. Only then, he says, will we really save money. Hey, John, under that wacky theory, we could save the most money if we didn't send anybody to prison. That's exactly why more and more people are realizing how wacky and criminal friendly this House Bill 463 is. <laughs> Next, the, Je the State Justice Department Secretary, Michael Brown, says, you know, we have a fair number of repeat customers. Hey, Mike, no kidding. They're called repeat felony offenders. And you know, when those folks are out of custody, they commit crime after crime after crime. And when you put these repeat offenders in jail, guess what? They don't commit crimes. Then Brown says, a lot of the times they just don't adjust when they're released. Hey Mike, they weren't all that well adjusted when they chose to commit a crime and victimize some innocent person in the first place. And finally, UK law professor Robert Lawson says that this is falling short because we didn't reach far enough. Translation, the legislature didn't re release enough criminals back onto the streets when they passed this disastrous law. Hey Bob, it's easy for you to say release more thugs, hoodlums, and outlaws from the safety of your suburban and relatively crime-free neighborhood. Bottom line, this catch and release experiment with our safety and security is not working. In fact, it may be the best thing that ever happened to the criminals. They just love it. <laughs> Time to repeal this very, very, very dangerous law, crime fighters. I'm Ray the DA and this is Straight Damn Talk.